just hours after the Academy Awards in Los Angeles. We are so thrilled to have an Oscar winner right here with us in New York City. Forrest Whitaker. Whitaker. Can you believe it was more than three decades ago when he landed a role as a football star in the hit 80s movie Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Yeah, well, now let's fast forward to 2007 when Forrest nabbed an Oscar for his memorable performance in The Last King of Scotland. And he wowed us once again <clears throat> as Cecil Gaines in The Butler following that up with a role in Star Wars Rogue One. Right, and right now he's in the theaters starring in the most talked about movie, the record-breaking box office smash Black Panther. And if that's yeah. not enough, Forrest stars in a new thriller based on real life events playing Archbishop Desmond Tutu and that film is called The Forgiven. And sadly we're out of time to talk about <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's what I was thinking. I know. That's a heck of an intro. That's really nice. <gasps> Congratulations on all the success of everything, Thank Forrest. You. Playing Desmond Tutu, that's a, that's a high bar, isn't it? It was. You know, um, I got a chance to go meet with him a number of times. I had met him them years before because uh -huh. I have a wow. foundation that works in peace building and stuff. So I got to meet with him, and he gave me some advice, and I got a chance to sit with him for a while. So. What advice did he give you? <laughs> uh, you know, just um, love. You know, just that the key is to be able to forgive and that without forgiveness, there's no future, you know? This is a fascinating story. I didn't realize that. Tell us about it, because you, you go to, to, yeah. to redeem somebody who's a, a pretty evil guy, Yeah, right? I mean, Desmond Tutu is sent to, to, by Nelson Mandela to, like, deal with the reconciliation trials or the apartheid issues of, you know, separatism and racism and stuff. And he meets this man who sends him a letter from prison. Who is who, who typifies all of that? He's a uh, Afrikaans. He's a uh, racist. He's a violent murderer and and a kidnapper. And they meet in the cell, and we start to explore whether this man could be redeemed, mm. or, and whether Desmond Tutu is capable of being able to forgive some of the most heinous, mm. disgusting acts. You know? Yeah. Wow. And what, I, I what do we learn? Like yeah. yeah. What do we learn there? I think I think we learn that everyone has. Is it possible for anyone to be redeemed? It's possible for us to go to the core of somebody and understand our connection between them. And we have to understand, too, that unless we do forgive, we hold inside of ourselves something that, that allows it to take power over mm -hmm. us. Yeah, and becomes toxic and cancerous yeah. in your own soul. Yeah. By the way, congrats on that, and congrats on Black Panther. I mean, this thing is, this, that train <laughs> it's all is not slowing you know down. Yeah. That for us. Uh, yeah. That's Brian what we said. an amazing director, <laughs> and it's an amazing cast, and I was just happy to be involved, you know. Wow, what an, you were having an awesome run, as usual. Mm -hmm. Well, The Forgiven is gonna be in theaters, right? Yeah, in New York and L.A. this Friday. It'll have a wider release starting on March the 16th. Great to see you. Thank you, you for us. Thank by. you. Wait. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.